Hello students, uh, today's topic is uh, uh, interest on securities from income from other sources. Income from other sources. See, in the previous videos, I have explained you about income from other sources. One of the major income from other sources is interest on security. What is security? Security is nothing but debentures, bonds, debentures, bonds or cash certificates or some deposits which are invested for a longer period in post office or in any central government schemes. All such investments are called as securities. Securities are two types. One is government securities, <coughs> another one is non-government securities. In case of government securities, again we have two types of securities. One is called as tax-free government securities and less tax-free government securities. What is this tax-free government securities? Tax-free government securities are completely exempted fully exempted under section 10 subsection 15. See the government and income tax act of 1961 it is clearly mentioned that if you receive any interest on these investments on these securities which are completely exempted and there is no need to pay tax on the interest income on, on these investments. What are such investments? What are such investments which are exempted from taxes is 12 years national saving certificates. If you have invested on national saving certificates for 12 years term, whatever the interest you receive which is exempted under section 10 subsection 15 and national defense, defense, uh, defense bonds 1980 even this is also exempted. Special bearer bonds issued by Central Government of India, Post Office Cash Certificates, National Plan Certificates, all these are all exempted completely, whatever the amount of interest you receive, which is exempted from taxes. Post Office Savings Bank Account. See, if you have invested in Post Office Savings Bank Account, and if you have earned up to 3,500 rupees, it is exempted from taxes. If you earn more than 3,500, the difference of interest amount will be taxable. Say, uh, for example, if you receive 5,000 rupees interest on post office savings bank account, from 5,000, 3,500 will be exempted and 1,500 will be taxable. Interest on 7% capital investment bonds, and post office cumulative deposits for 15 years term, all these are all exempted from taxes under section 10 subsection 15. Now let us understand less tax free government tax, uh, tax free securities. What is the meaning of less tax free government securities? See usually these securities are issued by central government or state government and whatever the interest you earn on such securities, this central government and state government will pay the interest amount, full amount, whatever the interest amount you earn, full amount they will pay to the investors without deducting any taxes. So that means to say they will get full gross amount. Say for example, if you have invested 10%, 1 lakh rupees, Okay, securities issued by issued by central government. Okay, on this one lakh ten percent, ten thousand rupees is completely gross amount. Completely gross amount. No tax will be deducted from this ten thousand interest amount. So therefore, there is no need of tax deducted at sources and no need of grossing up but it is fully taxable. See, tax-free government securities are exempted from taxes, 
but less tax free government securities are fully taxable and there is no need of glossing up because no tds will be done hope all of you understood so if you are given securities issued by uh, state government of karnataka 1 lakh rupees at 10% then we calculate directly on 1 lakh rupees 10%, 10,000 is taxable. And no TDS will be done and no need of grossing up. This is what less tax free government securities. Now let us understand what is tax free non government securities. See the word tax free, but there is a, it's a non government. See, non government is nothing but commercial means commercial securities but which are not issued by the government which is issued by the local authorities which are issued by statutory corporations which are issued by the companies see any companies which are incorporated by statute or law is called as a statutory corporations and local authorities like municipal corporations or uh, uh, metropolitan corporations or any companies for that matter, if they have issued any securities, then always we need to cross up. It is fully taxable, but the interest portion or interest amount need to be always cross up. Always cross up. But the only thing is you have to identify whether the word tax free is given in the question or not. If any securities or any commercial securities, the word tax free is not given. All such securities are called as less tax free securities. All such, all such securities are called as less tax free securities. Say, I will give you with the example. Say, always this tax free government securities need to be gross up. Need to be gross up. Say, for example, uh, the word is given like this 10% tax free commercial securities okay securities of rupees 90,000 is given see is given the total investment made is given as 90,000 rupees and the rate of interest which carries is 10 percent now on 90,000 what is 10 percent is 9,000 rupees am I right in this 9,000 rupees the non-government securities always they would be deducted taxes from that means always they need to gross up what is the meaning of grossing up say these security issuer of securities local authority, statutory corporation and companies, they pay the interest after deducting the taxes. So, whatever the interest amount which we have calculated on this 90,000, which is tax has been already deducted. Now, what the amount is given, the interest calculated is, is a net interest amount. Now, we need to gross up. Now, we need to gross up. All of you understood? Very good. Now, I told you, if the word tax free is not given, then all such commercial securities, all such non-government securities are called as less tax free government securities. Say, in one more example, I will give you 12% uh, bonds issued by, issued by XYZ Limited. For rupees 3 lakhs. Say so 3 lakh rupees of uh, securities I have purchased, we have purchased, and we get 12% interest every year. See, here there is no word called as a tax free. If you look at the earlier example, if you look at the earlier example, there is a, a word called as a tax free commercial securities. Tax free word is there. But here, there is no word tax free. Now, what happens here is, since there is a no tax free word in this, what we do is, already is given the investment 
as well as rate of interest or rate of percentage is given. Directly we calculate on 3 lakhs 12 percent is 36,000 rupees. How much it is? 36,000 which is directly taxable and there is no need of grossing up for this. There is no need of grossing up because tax free word is not there. If the tax free word is there, definitely we will take it. All of you got it? Very well, good. Now, let us understand less tax free. Sir, sometimes what happens is, he will be given the total interest amount earned or received will be given in the question. See, when the amount is given, when the amount is given, interest amount is given, say for example, uh, 4500 rupees interest received from X uh, Maruti Suzuki Limited. See, we have received interest on the securities issued by Maruti Suzuki Limited. Here, the rate of interest is not given. Does he given the rate of interest? No. If the rate of interest is not given, if the rate of interest is not given, rate of interest is not given, is not given. If the rate of interest is not given, all such securities are considered as a less tax. And if the rate of interest is not given, but amount of interest earn is given, then we need to gross up. We need to gross up. Now, everybody will have a question. Every one of us will have a question. Sir, what is the rate of interest which they deduct from the tax, deduct from the interest amount? What is the rate of taxes they deduct on interest on securities? Say, they deduct 10% on interest amount. That means, here I told you, they have 90,000 rupees amount is invested and which carries 10% interest, we got 9,000 rupees. See, when in case of tax-free commercial securities, in case of tax-free commercial securities, we have calculated on this 90,000, 10% is 9,000. In this, they have already deducted what? Taxes. How much interest is deducted? 10% is deducted. That means if you receive, if you receive 100% interest, they deduct 10% taxes and they will pay you only 90%. Now in this case, 90,000 is the amount of interest or 9,000 rupees is the interest amount which you have received which is equals to 90%. What is for 100% we calculate? that comes to 10,000 rupees. So, 10,000 rupees will be the taxable interest we charge. In case of, if the amount of interest is given, if the amount of interest is given, then 4,500 rupees is the interest we receive, which is already the tax is deducted. So, out if the 100 rupees is a uh, with gross amount, the net amount will be 90. Then for the 100% amount, it becomes 5000 rupees. That means the gross amount is 5000 rupees. See, whenever we take the interest on securities in the compu computing the income from other sources, we need to take the gross amount. Whenever, wherever is given net amount, we have to take the gross amount. And their grossing up calculations is required. See, this is all about uh, what is that? Interest on securities and types of securities. We will do some problems on this uh, so that you will understand better. Okay.